Hello there. Today I'm going to do a review of a service from VPN AC. It's called Secure Proxy. Now this is a web proxy, it's not a VPN, so it's only going to work within your browser. It's uh, similar to Astral's Open Web. They have a browser extension for Google Chrome or for Firefox. Now today is March 12th, 2016, and there's currently a meeting in Beijing of the National People's Congress, which has affected VPNs and proxy services in China. However, VPN AC is still working quite well on their VPNs, and this secure proxy is working especially well. Now, if you want to do your own test using a web proxy, such as VPN AC Secure Proxy or Astral's Open Web, make sure you're using an HTML5 speed test because if you use a flash based test, such as the popular speedtest.net, you're not doing the test properly because Flash will actually bypass the proxy and you're only doing the download test with your ISP directly. Okay, so I'm using the Google Chrome add-on, which I downloaded from the Chrome Store. Try US West, connected. You see how fast that connection is? You just press connect and less than one second you're connected. Um, compared to a VPN, connecting and disconnecting is much faster. I'm just going to go through a few of the servers and show you that all of them are working. Uh, very rarely will you ever have a failure to connect on any of these. You can see the date there is March 12th. Uh, during the political meetings in Beijing. Let's try a few more, show you everything's working. Okay, uh, now I'm going to do a speed test without a VPN or a proxy using the website of my ISP, China Telecom. I should have around 100M. Yeah, I can see uh, 98M. It's not, it's just about what I'm supposed to be getting. So my internet connection is working normally without VPN or proxy turned on. Okay, now let's try the secure proxy. I think I will connect to Hong Kong. That one has been working quite well for me this morning. And uh, do the speed test from the speedtest.dslreports.com website, which is an HTML5 speed test suitable for testing web proxies. Okay, let's take a look. What kind of speed can we get? Okay, the test is starting. We'll check the latency with multiple servers first before it does the download. Fastest latency is from Taiwan, 40 milliseconds. That's very good. So with the low latency, it's uh, good for browsing the web, watching streaming videos, this kind of things. Okay, download speed. It uh, looks like one of the streams failed, or maybe a few of them. There's, there's a 32 stream test going on right now, but uh, most got 92.1M, it's a very good result. You'll see in the middle there, the kind of never seen that happen before actually. I guess one or two of the streams didn't connect. But nevertheless, fast download and very, very low latency. So that's a very good connection. Let's try another one. Let's do a Tokyo. See how fast Tokyo is.
Okay, download speed's good. Latency, not as good as Hong Kong. Let's just do another kind of test and see how long it takes to load the YouTube main page I'm using this uh, extension to measure the time. It's 3.6 seconds. That's uh, pretty good. Now let's try a, one of the United States West Coast servers, uh, see how those are working. Let's try maybe uh, US West Seattle. Connect to that and uh, refresh the page. Okay, it's going to test the latency first. Let's see what kind of latency we have from the US. It won't be as low as the Asian servers, probably over 100. 138. It's not too bad for a US server. 138 millisecond latency. Okay, let's do the download test. Okay, starting off not too fast. It's getting up to 20 over 20 m, 30 m. Okay, 33.3 m download. Okay, now let's try loading the YouTube page and see how long the YouTube homepage takes to load. I'm using this uh, web page timer extension there. You can see in the top right corner. Well, you probably can't see, but the time is 8.17 8 seconds. And we'll also load the Google News, news.google.com. And see how long that takes. That is 7.87 seconds. Now I just want to go back and try that Hong Kong server again and see how long these uh, web pages, YouTube and Google News take to load using that Hong Kong server that gave me the low latency and high speed. What I'm going to do actually is load them in the incognito window. That way it'll be loading without using the cache from any previous loads. So we'll try YouTube first. And that is 2.34 seconds. And Google News. That is 2.62 seconds for Google News. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and visit my website www.tipsforchina.com. There you can find uh, VPN reviews, VPN speed testing all, all done from China and special offers for signing up to a new VPN. If you want to try VPN AC you can use my promotion code TIPS25 and that will give you a 25% recurring discount good for renewals for the life of the account.